So, hello. I just wanted to eat dinner and I really wanted to uh, make myself a really nice toast here. And then I discovered, oh, how unfortunate. Two dark spots here. Some fungus is growing on the toast. And uh, this is not a very not a very nice thing, obviously, so I cannot eat it anymore. But it does have a good uh, uh, good use because I can now uh, look at some of the fungal spores under the microscope, and this is what I would like to do now. Well, this is the unfortunate uh, toast bread and it's completely bad black. Uh, these are all spores and sporangia forming the spores. And what I did is I simply wanted to have a look under my stereo microscope. Uh, I wanted to have a look at the, the sporangia which are producing the spores um, in close up. Um, and that's basically what I see. You can see all those thread like uh, hyphae, hyphae um, and those uh, black uh, dark structures. These are the sporangia that's, uh, that form the, the spores. And uh, I'm simply holding my mobile phone camera in front of the uh, eyepiece, therefore it's a little bit shaky. But at the same time, you don't need a lot of stuff uh, really to get pictures. So all you need is a mobile phone and a microscope. And if you stabilize the whole thing a little bit, then you get even acceptable pictures. So, but then I wanted to have a more closer look um, at the individual spores. My all-purpose tweezers are really useful. Um, you can also pick up water samples this way. That's what I'm doing right now placing a drop of water on the slide and then I'm simply scratching off some of the yeah, black material. And the thing that I realized is it, it doesn't suspend very well in water. It seems to be kind of hydrophobic. Um, so it was kind of swimming on top of the water drop, but that was okay. Um, uh, cover glass uh, goes on top of it uh, and uh, because uh, all of those sporangia and the fungus was a little bit thick still, yeah, it didn't, uh, the water didn't spread quite well and the, it was not very flat. So I simply pressed it flat a little bit. And uh, that's basically all the preparation that's needed. Under the microscope. Uh, and what do I see under the microscope? Well, the first thing that uh, I saw is I saw those large uh, black structures. These are the sporangia. And when you zoom in a little bit, then you can already see um, in the water a whole bunch of smaller dots. And these are the individual spores. And uh, they're reasonably, yeah, they're much bigger than bacteria, uh, but they're still reasonably small, nice round structures. Here, this big black blob, that's uh, a sporangium. And then you have the spores. And uh, what I did is, is I simply kept on increasing the magnification. And uh, basically what I'm doing right now is uh, this is uh, using the 40 times magnifying objective. That's basically how much, if you get a low cost um, educational microscope uh, with a 40 times magnification objective, that's what you're able to see, okay? Um, and uh, you can actually also see that uh, many of them are, they are shaking a little bit. And I think this is not their natural movement because they're spread by air, but I think that is Brownian motion. So that's basically due to some thermal movement um, of the water molecules bumping against the spores. Um, and therefore they start to shake a little bit. Yes, now this is my 60 times magnifying objective. Of course, the total magnification on the computer screen is much more than 60 times. That's always a little cause for confusion. The magnification that's written on the objective and the total magnification on the screen, of course, is, is not the same. It's got to be uh, recalculated. Yeah, but uh, you can see that some of these uh, spores uh, still stick together in little packets, especially on the right side. Um, and uh, there are also some some of them. Yeah, and this uh, linear structure in the middle, I think this could be one of those uh, those hyphae. Um, that basically uh, yeah, make uh, up the main part of the fungus. Um, and uh, these hyphae, these are actually the cells that grow into the toast. I uh, simply scratched off uh, the, 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 the spores uh, from the surface. So that is bright field right now. Okay, so that's basically what you're gonna uh, see um, when you have uh, a regular bright field microscope. And now um, I'm going to uh, have a closer look uh, um, using phase contrast. I do have now a phase contrast set. And that's what you see in phase contrast. And they look a little bit ring shape because phase contrast con converts uh, differences in ref of refractive index um, into brightness. So of course the spores are not rings, but it simply appears like this. And under certain circumstances using phase contrast, you can see structures that you normally would not be able to see using regular bright field. 
but uh, yeah, that's basically a 40 times magnification. Um, not the total. Uh, this is a 40 times using the 40 times magnification objective. I gotta also say it right. Uh, the large uh, dark structure on the left side that is a spor uh, sporangium, and you can see that uh, yeah, there are a whole bunch of spores uh, cl uh, cluttered around it. And yeah, I'm always refocusing. That's why it goes uh, in and out of focus because these are not stationary images, but I'm actually filming a video here, of course. And this also kind of uh, allows me to section through a thicker specimen. So that's it. Well, this is basically it again. A little bit unfortunate that uh, the toast uh, is spoiled, but at the same time, I have to admit uh, that this is a, was a very nice sample to observe. Uh, don't eat moldy bread. Don't eat anything which is moldy. Um, not good. Don't inhale the spores. I just give, got to give you a little warning here. It's not healthy. Um, it can trigger some some undesirable reactions when you inhale them. And in any case, I wish you today um, a nice day. All the best and bye bye. And of course, happy micro hunting. I almost forgot. Bye bye. <laughs>